Hello everyone, this is Huda Mauri, Learning Lab Associate. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Teams for your appointments. I'll show you how you can log on to Teams, how you can join the meetings, and how you can use basic tools during the meeting. After you schedule your appointment, you need to log on to Teams at least 5 minutes before your appointment start. Login is required for Teams. So, to log into Teams, you need to log into your student's portal. So, first you will log into your student's portal, and then in the top right of your screen, you will see Office 365 files. You will click on that, and here you will see Teams, Microsoft Teams, in the top right of your screen. Click on Teams. It might ask you to log in, so you're gonna use the same username and password of your HFC account. So after you log into Teams, this is your channel and here where you will meet with your tutor. After you log into Teams, you're gonna receive an invitation email from your tutors asking you to join the meeting. This is the email that you will receive from your tutor. It's a confirmation email, and you will see this link, join Microsoft Teams meeting. You will click on this link, and it's gonna take you back to Teams. And you will see this screen asking you to join the meeting. But before you join the meeting, you can edit your camera and your microphone. So you can turn them on or off. It's your choice before you join the meeting. And then you're going to click join now. Now you are connected with your tutors on meeting. Now I'll show you how you can use basic tools in the meeting. Here you will see the meeting menu. Here is the timer, which is tracking the time of the meeting. Here is the camera. As I said, you can turn it on or off during the meeting. It's your uh, choice. It's not essential. Here is the microphone. You can turn it on or off as well. But it might be helpful to communicate with your tutor in the meeting. Here is the share icon. It helps you to share your screen in the meeting. You can share your desktop, your window, any window that is currently open. You can share any application, any files that you uh, want to share it in the meeting. Also, you can share your whiteboard. This is the whiteboard. You can click on that. You can write any notes, any questions uh, during the meeting in this whiteboard. These are different colors of pen. You can use them here. And here is the eraser. You can use it as well, like this. It's easy to use. And if you want to stop presenting the whiteboard, basically in the left side, you will see stop presenting. Then you will see these three dots. These dots give you different options that you can use them in the meeting. It's your choice to use them or not during the meeting. Here you will see start recording. If your tutor wants to record the meeting, he or she will ask you before start recording. And if the tutor starts recording the, the meeting and after you end up the meeting, you will see the video downloaded directly to your meeting chat. So it's going to be helpful for you to, to go back and watch the video or watch that meeting again. Here is the end meeting, uh, turn off incoming video. So you, you have the choice to use them or not in the meeting. And then here is the conversation icon. Please enable this during all seasons so you can communicate with your tutor in the meeting 
and you will see this icon is the participate icon displays all the individuals who are participating in the meeting here you will see just my name in your screen you're supposed to see your name and your total name and the last thing is the hang up icon so after you end up the meeting with your uh, tutor you can just end the call from here so these are the basics tools that you can use them in the meeting if you have any questions or you still have any problem using team please let us know we are more than happy to help you with that you will gonna find our email address in our website just go to hfcc.edu slash slash learning lab and then you will find our email address here so please if you have any questions you need any help on that uh, email us anytime and we're gonna reply to you as soon as we can thank you